Hello everyone, this is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.Webs.com bringing you a real quick tutorial on how to download and use Earthquake 3D. Today is January 11, 2012 and I'd like to actually show you how to use and download this software so you can track the earthquakes with me right here on MrHurricaneTracker.Webs.com. Looking at Earthquake 3D it is a very great representation of the globe showing earthquakes live. Now this software uses a live feed through USGS which is a RSS feed for live updates on earthquakes. So anytime there's an earthquake, it'll automatically show up live if you change the settings and uh, update them. I'll show you how to do that. When you download and install this software for free, which I'll post the link in the description of the video below on how to download the software, I'll show you the site in just a moment as well. But right now, taking a look at the information here that's showing up on the USGS it looks like there was a magnitude 1.1 earthquake that just showed up and you can tell because the latest earthquake will be green and that will be within the last 30 minutes to the last hour once you receive the earthquake update now taking a look at the control panel here real quickly control panel is very simple uh, but unique and easy to use now this control panel has a couple things we want to filter the earthquakes by date or magnitude you can do that you can filter the magnitude all the way up to uh, 6 through 10 or 0 through 10. Uh, the date, right now we're taking a look at the live information for today's date. And this is how this magnitude 1.1 quake showed up. Now you can bring down the date. Uh, this actual scale is for two weeks. Right now we're taking a look at the past two days when you click it down in the mark here. The last two days of earthquakes above a 0.0 and higher and you can raise the magnitude up like I said to a 5.0 and higher and you'll see all the earthquakes that have shown up in the world in the past couple of days especially that magnitude 7.3 quake that showed up here and here it is let's go and bring down bring up the magnitude so we can see that there it is a 7.3 earthquake that was recorded in Sumatra Indonesia this is an underwater quake as you can tell a lot of people felt the quake because the ring around the quake shows the epicenter on how far the wave may have went and uh, definitely people have felt this quake in Indonesia and panicked but this earthquake did not cause a tsunami you can track that with me right here on MrHurricaneTracker.Webs.com but taking a look again at the control panel I'm going to take a look at this I'm going to bring back down the date and back down the magnitude so it'll update live on any earthquakes that occur down here below you'll have source data you can choose where you want to get your earthquake activity from if you click on that you'll see a list which I normally use just the specific list that it came with which was ANSS last 14 days which has actually been really good for me and I like that now we're looking at the updated quakes down below on the control panel you'll see here that it's got a time uh, scale and or you can choose never what that is is you can choose it to never update but if you want live data you can choose an hour and a half one hour thirty minutes or one minute once you choose what you want and once you choose the indicators the globe and the surface you can click save now and it'll update now a lot of people have been wondering how to change the sound well I found out how to do that if you click on the beep you'll see that it just beeps it just makes a beeping sound that's what it does when a live earthquake updates and you'll see that if an earthquake shows up here and now it's up to updating as you see on the top left and really no earthquake activity I'm gonna bring up my folders here that I already have open to show you how to change the sound real quick I'm gonna bring up the folder that has my sound in it and I'm gonna bring up the folder that has the earthquake CD 3d software in it which is program files earthquake 3d on your C drive or whatever your main drive is what you want to do is make sure that the file that you are copying is a WAV file. Again, guys, it's going to be a WAV file. And you also have to name it Quake, Q-U-A-K-E, Quake. That's what it's got to be named. It can't be named anything else or the program will not recognize it. So what you want to do is copy that into the folder of the Earthquake 3D execution folder, which again is in C, C Drive, Program Files, Earthquake 3D. Continue, we're going to copy that file once it copies you should have your change of the earthquake sound now you just click on the beep again and there's your sound that's the different wave sound that is now your wave sound for earthquake 3d 
Taking a look at the site real quick, I'd like to bring up that information real fast. This is where you're going to download Earthquake 3D, folks, at Wilton.net slash quake.html. I'll post the link in the description of the video below so y'all can check that out. And there's two different versions of Earthquake 3D. Version 2.7, which is the free edition. I am using uh, right now 3.7, which is something you'll have to pay for. And it's also available for the iPhone and the iPad. So take a look at that, guys. And I hope this has helped you out in your adventures of tracking earthquakes with MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com. Uh, keep an eye on the earthquakes with me right here. And again, definitely like to thank everybody for watching and subscribing to MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com. Now, a few more things. Uh, the way to move Earthquake 3D is you just want to click on it and move it around with your mouse as I'm doing as such right now. You can also zoom in with your mouse by zooming it all the way through. You can stop it by just making sure you click it one time and it'll stop spinning. So take a look at Earthquake 3D once again. Where this is the how-to video how to download and use Earthquake 3D. Thanks for watching and have a great day.